I'm a bridesmaid in an upcoming wedding. Without asking the bride, I cut off all my hair, which in turn made her very upset because I didn't ask her permission. Does anyone have any Bridezilla stories? I knew a woman who was a bridesmaid in a relative's wedding. She was married and had been trying to get pregnant for a while. Finally, her and her hubby got lucky and she conceived. The Bridezilla got furious and kicked her out of the wedding because she would be pregnant in the pictures. Three months later, sadly, the woman miscarried. The bride called her with a response along the lines of good. Well now you can be back in the wedding. Needless to say, she did not even attend it. My jaw dropped. Similar story. At a wedding I went to the bride replaced a bridesmaid of hers at the last minute because she dyed her hair a slightly lighter brown the night before. Apparently it didn't match the dress, which was bright pink. Better than me, I was a replacement bridesmaid at last minute. Because the woman I was replacing had been sent to prison for beating her child. And she was 2 feet shorter and 200 pounds heavier than me. It was an epic dash to find me a dress. My father is one of eight and has four sisters. My grandfather, who worked hard all his life and has been retired and living on his pension for 20 years now, paid for the weddings of each of his girls. My aunt flipped her crap when he said he couldn't pay for her third marriage to a guy she'd known for six months if she wanted an island wedding. He was cool with paying for a small wedding in their hometown, but that he simply couldn't afford to give her the all-inclusive dream wedding she wanted. By the way, she's divorced from millionaires and has plenty of cash, but feels her 90-year-old father should pay for a 300-person wedding in the Bahamas so she can afford a beach house. He offered to fund a honeymoon to the Bahamas and a modest wedding at home. Mind you, she married in Hawaii the first time and honeymooned in Paris the second. He paid for both. Everyone else got married in the hometown church. Anyway, she responded to that offer by calling him a stingy old butthole and saying that she was glad my grandmother died young, so she didn't have to see her husband become a greedy bastard. So finally, with the support of the rest of the family, my grandfather told her to frick off and pay for her own wedding. This all went down about 5 years ago, and the aunt hasn't contacted anyone but my other aunt since. Apparently she divorced the third husband and retired, at the age of 45, to a condo in Florida. She's living off the settlements from the divorces. She sounds like an awful person. I work in an industry with a busy season such that you cannot get time off toward the end except in life or death situations. When my wife's sister let us know, three months in advance, that she was getting married just after the busy season, I told her that I was glad it was then because if it had been even three days earlier I couldn't attend. Due to the time it would take to travel the 900 miles to be there. The next day she called us and told us that they'd moved the wedding to two weeks earlier. Well, I apologetically explained to her that I couldn't be there because it would literally be the end of my career. She didn't listen to a word I said and tried to guilt trip me into going. Despite them knowing I wouldn't attend in this situation even before they changed the date of the wedding, I would get phone calls every other day with either Sil or Mill yelling and screaming at me because I was going to ruin the wedding by not being there. My wife went to the wedding. I ate a pizza. It was friggin delicious. My mother went full on motherzilla 2 hours before the wedding insisting that I didn't want her to be a part of the wedding because my wife's family rearranged the table in the reception hall that she had arranged the night before for the rehearsal. I couldn't believe I had to utter the words, I am getting married in 2 hours and you want to make this all about you. Yeah, the day after I got engaged, it was supposed to be a happy day. My stepmother gave me a wedding planning book she had bought and was saving for my engagement. My mom flipped out at Emmy for preferring my stepmom over her when it came to planning the wedding. But just because I had accepted the book graciously, it was the most ridiculous thing that she's ever done. Ruined my day. I used to work for a tent company and we would set up for weddings. One in particular comes to mind. It was 95 degrees out, middle of July, and we were all suffering. This was a large wedding, with a large tent, stage, dance floor, tables, chairs, plates, silverware, lights, act. We arrived at her parents house at 7am. She was all nice and calm, said that she would buy us all lunch, 6 or 7 guys, at around noon to thank us for our hard work. 
She also said that she would bring us water since it was so hot out and we could tap into the keg when we were done. A great deal right? Wrong, about noon we had gotten the tent up, the lighting done, the stage and dance floor partially set up. She came running out saying that we needed to move the tent 3 feet. Yes, we needed to move the 240 feet by 60 feet tent 3 feet. My initial response was, are you kidding me she wasn't. After talking it over with her we decided to move the tent. We had to. The customer is always right even when they say this is where I want the tent to go. We put it up and she changes her mind. We take it down, move the tent 3 feet and put it back up. It is now pushing 8pm. Still no water. Lunch or dinner. 10pm rolls around and we are unloading tables. She comes storming out saying, you are making too much noise. Be quiet. One guy I worked with asked, can we please get some water now? We drank all of the water that we brought. She goes, um, the hose is around back. Take some but not too much. Water is expensive. We never got a lunch, dinner or beer. This lady was a bee. We worked from 7am to 11pm at her house. Not to mention the 45-ish minute drive to and from her house. I never had a problem with working those type of hours if people tipped us, gave us food and thanked us. She didn't do anything. I attended the wedding of a family friend's daughter, so didn't really know her. It was a nighttime reception, so probably from 6pm 11 or 12, the ceremony immediately preceding. When we went into the reception, we were expecting a buffet or something to be set up, but there was nothing. Later we found out that there was no food for the 120 guests, but rather a cheese spread, fruit platter, and vegetables with dip. After an hour, people were really hungry and some people started to leave because they were expecting to be fed and didn't want to stay. When the bride found out, she ran across the room in her dress and blocked the doors. Screaming about how everyone is ruining her wedding and screaming bride's day. Bride's way it was such a scene that her father had to peel her off the door. Don't know where the husband was. Probably cowering. And people who didn't know her that well all left. I heard through the grapevine that she was inconsolable the entire night. Got trashed and threw up. Hopefully on her dress. But not sure. Oh well. Bride's day. Bride's way. My auntie was 38 when she got married. She was the eldest of two sisters. Her sister was my mum. My mum got married when she was 22 to my dad. So she'd waited a long time for a guy to marry her. She'd been engaged three times before to three different men. Each one had broken off the engagement. My sister was one of her bridesmaids. During a practice at the church, my aunt shouted at my sister for walking out of time. My sister was only 7 at the time and to have a seriously stressed bridezilla in her face because she didn't put her foot in the right place at the right time was terrifying. She burst into tears and according to my mum, my aunt said, oh and now she's crying. Can you remind me how old you are my mum was furious with her. My aunt is stubborn so for a few weeks my mum told my aunt to find a new bridesmaid. My aunt wouldn't budge until my grandmother eventually begged her to for the sake of the wedding. Even now my sister isn't fond of my aunt. My aunt is still extremely stressy. She has a young daughter of her own now who she treats like a queen. If anything happens to her, she turns into the Hulk. And the cycle continues. I was a bridesmaid in this winter themed wedding. We wore blue silk dresses with white fake fur capelets and muffs. At one point we were getting ready for the ceremony and the bride said, kitten hiccups, let me see your muff. I batted my eyelashes and joked, I've waited so long to hear those words from you. The look she shot me could have killed a freaking moose. She started going off on me about not taking things seriously enough and maybe I should go hang out with the groomsmen instead if I was going to make lewd jokes. Yep, yeah, maybe I should have. Maybe you should have, that's goddamned hilarious. And just for your information. I'm tagging you ask to see her muff so allow me to apologize ahead of time for what will surely be a poor choice I make several months from now. I had a friend that threw a temper tantrum, complete with screaming and foot stomping, because her grandmother had the audacity to die a few hours before her wedding. She said it would throw off the seating arrangements, because now there would be a big empty space. She is currently halfway through her second divorce. Oh no, I hope to god you're not actually still friends with this mental case. My brother's first wife wouldn't allow any of our family that she hadn't met into the wedding. 
Now, we've got a good size family, so this would mean things like inviting one cousin that she'd met, but not their parents or siblings that lived out of town, etc. We offered to hold an engagement party so she could get to know some of our out of towners, but she declined, saying she didn't want to feel obligated to invite these new family members that she'd only met once and didn't know very well. In the end, we decided to go with immediate family only. We figured it would be less awkward and rude than to pick and choose between family. My brother ended up having 6 people at his wedding, along with around 65 from the bride's side. I am glad she's a first wife it'd feel bad if your brother was still stuck with that. As a hairstylist, I've seen a few Bridazillas. This one affected me directly, so midweek, a woman comes in and asks about Updos for a wedding that upcoming weekend. She told my boss that she wanted something funky done with her hair. My boss then booked this bee with me. Saturday morning comes and she is in my chair and I get started. I am nearly finished and she starts complaining that she wanted more of a classic Audrey Hepburn style. Now I am confused and it's too late to change now, plus my next client has arrived. This tea loses it. She said I wasn't listening to her and called her mother to come talk sense into me and was almost in tears wondering how she was going to explain her hair to her future in-laws. Her mom shows and basically tells her that her hair looks beautiful, paid me and dragged her out of the salon. A total WTF experience for everyone. At least her mother had some decency. This thread further reinforces my desire to have a 10 minute wedding with a couple of people total and then throw a big outdoor party involving kegs, a bonfire, and a band to celebrate with all our friends. This is exactly what my husband and I did when we got married, parents and us at the courthouse and a justice of the peace. With the money we saved, we had a down payment for our house, where we later threw a big housewarming party wedding reception with our friends, beer, and music. The night of my brother's wedding, me and my girlfriend went back to our hotel. Down the hall, there was an after party for a different wedding, with people in tuxes and bridesmaids dresses drinking and partying in their room. As we walked by, the bride storms out screaming into a cell phone, telling someone to get back there right now. As she hung up, she screamed into the room with the party who the frick abandons their bride on their wedding night apparently the groom was at a bar down the street with some friends. Not sure if she constitutes a Bridazilla, since she made a good point. Who the frick leaves their bride on their wedding night? I wouldn't say that's Bridazilla behavior. At face value, it seems really inconsiderate to not even tell her that he was going to a bar on their wedding night. Not so much a pre-wedding Bridazilla story, but during. I was a bridesmaid in my older brother's wedding. I had two freaking drinks at the wedding. Two. I felt fine. My sister-in-law got mad because in one of the wedding photos there is one of me kissing a family friend of 15 years on the cheek because I haven't seen them in a while. It was such a nice picture too. The bee said it was inappropriate and hasn't shown the wedding photos from the reception to anyone because 3LL3HCIR was drinking at my wedding and ruined some of the pictures. As a Scotsman the idea of not drinking at a wedding is completely alien to me. Two drinks would be the minimum to start the walk down the aisle, never mind the reception. Not Bridazilla story, just horrible wedding. My dad used to drive ambulance in eastern Canada. They got called to a field to what they thought was a high school party or something. When they got there, they saw it was a wedding. The police and fire trucks got there first. The tent was on fire. Police were still figuring out what happened, and arresting people, and the bride was sitting in the mud, crying. Apparently the two families got absolutely hammered, and during speech time a huge brawl broke out. Or, I feel really bad for the bride. On the other hand, I'm Eastern Canadian, and yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Bridazilla is putting it mildly. I once flew into a foreign country for this woman's wedding since I was a bridesmaid. The time I was there I witnessed her, shoving her daughter, starving and neglecting her pets, constantly fighting with her fiancé, trying to control what I ate, accused me of stealing from her since I took a Pepsi from the refrigerator after they said to make myself at home, freaking out the night before as we were setting up because everything was wrong. After the day had come and gone and I flew home I get an email about a month later, you really pee everyone off. 
They all found you rude and lazy. My husband isn't calling you names he's only calling you out on how you are. I told her to have a nice life then blocked her from ever contacting me again. Next thing I know, my family and friends are getting threatened and harassed. Fake profiles were made with my name and photo. Several message boards on Facebook have my name, number, and address up along with the biggest loads of balls for any random stranger to read. Pretty sure impersonation is a crime. Tell her to back off if it continues because that is plain wrong. My wife was the opposite of a Bridazilla. On the day of the wedding, we had the following adventures. I forgot the carefully made up wedding programs and the bubbles at the hotel. There was a mix up with the rings, and almost didn't have them in hand by the time the priest called for them. They were in my wife's mom's purse at the back of the church. My sister got them during the ceremony and handed them to the best man about 2 minutes before the priest asked for the rings. Between the wedding and reception, my wife got grease from the door of the antique rolls on her dress as we were getting out for pictures. My wife had an allergic reaction to the shrimp during the reception, and broke out in hives all over her face. We had a couple doctors in the place. So we got her some Benadryl and an EpiPen for the honeymoon. In an effort to maximize honeymoon time, we got a 6am international flight to Cancun the day after our reception that ended at 12 o'clock. That meant we had to be there at least 2 hours early and the airport was about an hour from home. We got less than 2 hours of sleep that night. And through all this, she smiled and was positive and still views it as a perfect day. Even when she was sitting in the bridal suite covered in hives from the shrimp. She just didn't want people to fuss with her. She just wanted to go back out there and have fun and dance. She had never really reacted that way to shrimp before. It has only happened a couple times since. The allergist tested her negative for shellfish allergies. But said something's trigger allergies you don't normally have. Like stress or vigorous activities such as running or dancing. If she's like that on her wedding day when things go wrong. Sounds like she'll be a good partner in life. I had a Bridazilla moment once. I'm generally pretty laid back and wanted to have a stress free wedding. I gave my girls a color and let them wear what they wanted. I was more excited than nervous or stressed. But, this dang caterer, who from day one went on and on about no hidden charges and his price was all inclusive, called me the day before my wedding to ask if I had found a rental company to supply the glassware and chairs for the reception. I nearly lost my crap. It ended up being a red solo cup reception. Adding that to the list of things to double check. Thanks. I was dating my cousin's best friend. My cousin and his now wife were getting married. I was a bridesmaid. My boyfriend at the time was the best man. Me and the boyfriend broke up. I got an email from the bride to be telling me I was no longer a bridesmaid. I said that's not a problem. I saw that coming. But as I was living 3000 kilometers away at the time, I politely explained that it was unlikely that I would make the trip out. She lost her crap. She seven ties with me and told me that my family was no longer welcome to the wedding. To this day, my family does not speak with my cousin's family because of her. My GF's mother's wedding two years ago her future brother-in-law was missing for two weeks. He was supposed to be the best man but on a delivery he vanished and no one knew where he went that morning her future husband got a call that the police had found him. He had been shot two times and died in a ditch the delivery truck full of packages was gone. The husband was horrified and told the bride that he can't get married today she slapped him and stormed out screaming that she can't believe that he could be so selfish that today wasn't just about him and his stupid brother dart my gf was just as mad. Me and the husband both left them that day and are good friends to this day. As the bride would have cancelled until the brother had been found from the start. What horrible people. I know a girl who basically demanded that her parents pay for her wedding. It was ultra lavish. Nice and all. Come to find out later her parents took out a second mortgage to pay for it. I hope I never have a daughter like that. Or the parents suck up their big boy pants and say no. I'm a guy that used to have very very long hair. I was a groomsman in my friend's wedding. About 6 months after the wedding I cut my hair off. It is now about a year later and his wife still gives me crap for not having cut it for their wedding. I tell her I'll cut it for her next one. I don't understand why people are so obsessed with other people's clothes and hair on weddings. I think it's important that everyone has a great time, instead of looking like something they want you to. My best friend. 
who is normally very sweet and quiet, was quite rude when she got married. First she told me when I would be having her bridal shower, set a date without consulting me in any way, at my house, and what I would be serving. I was in the middle of my honors year of my bachelor degree in another city 15 hour drive away, and she set the date for right in the middle of exams. She also planned on making all sorts of things for her wedding to save money, aisle runner, centerpieces, arch, veil etc. I came into town the night before the wedding. And she says to me, I didn't have time to get anything made, so I need you to do it. I stayed up all night sewing and arranging flowers while she slept. It was in the middle of winter and when we arrived at the hall the floor hadn't been cleaned and was covered with salt stains. There was nothing to clean it with but a bucket and a cloth. So after staying up working all night, I had to clean a floor on my hands and knees. I was exhausted, sore and hated every minute of her wedding. I didn't talk to her for months after that. This situation made me lose one of my good friends. My friend is getting married in October. We were friends for about 8 years. She asked me to be one of her bridesmaids and I happily obliged. Little did I know she was going to be big headed ego Bridazilla. She demanded that everyone wear these hideous dresses that we had to pay for. I was okay with it since they didn't cost that much. She also demanded that all the girls dye their hair because she could be the only blonde one there. I have naturally blonde hair and I'm not going to dye it for a day. She got pee at me that I wouldn't dye my hair and replace me with a girl that she's known for years but recently become friends with. They used to talk crap behind each other's backs. Next she had to nerve to ask everyone who wasn't in her bridal party to pay $80 per guest, $160 for me and my boyfriend, for food. She's having a buffet of BBQ. She also expected a present that was valued above $50. She sent all of this via Facebook. I sent her a message back and told her I would either pay for the food or a present and for her to choose. I got a hard copy invite recently and realized that the date was the same date my boyfriend is doing Tough Mudder competition. I chose that over her wedding. TL. DR. Friend asks $80 per person and $50 sign plus wedding present. Also kicks me out of bridal party because I didn't dye my hair something other than blonde. Wow I have never heard of anybody asking guests to straight up pay for their wedding food. Like what? Your wedding day is not supposed to be a financial stress on the people you want to be there to celebrate with you. Years ago, my brother was best man in a wedding. He wore a beard at the time. For months prior to the wedding, the bride pestered him about his beard. She wanted him to be clean shaven for the wedding. So, after many moons, he gave in and promised that he'd shave before the wedding. Night before the wedding he shaved it into a Fu Manchu. My hero. I just so happened to enjoy the Fu Manchu moustache as much as I love dong moves. A bit late to the party, but I've been wanting to tell this story. My boyfriend's brother got married, and in the middle of the ceremony the groom's phone alarm went off in his pocket. The bride flipped out, interrupting the pastor, to reach into his pocket for his phone, that he had already silenced. She started bitching about how I can't believe you let your phone go off in the middle of our wedding. Hands it to the maid of honor and says remind me to smash that later, in the middle of her wedding. She also rolled her eyes when the pastor was talking about God, chatted with the groom during the talk about keeping a marriage together, and during the vows part interrupted the pastor to say the father, the son, the holy spirit, yeah I know, uh, she sounds adorable. My sister was was self-centered butthole for about 6 months with her coup de gras being the wedding day. I know it was all nerve so I don't harbor any grudges, but a guy wouldn't relive that day for all the money in the world. My strongest memory is her holding a bag of her crap and screaming on the church steps why am I holding something will someone explain to me why I am holding something on my freaking wedding day? Someone better take this out of my hands immediately. Literally thought she was holding a bag of her own crap and I was so confused as to why she would have crap in a bag. At my cousin's wedding, the bride's brother's girlfriend was a bridesmaid. The rest of the bridal party were either close friends or family. During the wedding pictures she made us take two of everyone, one with the girlfriend and another exactly the same, except without the girlfriend. Bride was throwing a fit about it. She didn't want to look at the pictures years down the road in the case that they broke up. Yeah, I'm sure we'd all collectively forget the girlfriend was even there. The girlfriend played along, 
but everyone could tell she felt really upset about it. My fiancé's best friend, who were each other's maid of honors of 20 years got engaged about 2 years before we did. It was only until after we announced our wedding date that she officially decided hers. 4 months before our date, she has ordered that my fiancé grow her hair out. She normally has a very short cut, and feels very uncomfortable with long hair has started pushing diets in my fiancé's direction. Knowing full well she has body image issues and suffered eating disorders in the past, and has refused to talk about our wedding, changing the subject to hers at every chance. She also wants a second wedding, about 6 months after the initial one, in Mexico. It will cost us about 3000 each, and we're just barely middle class ourselves. We'd rather save that money and put it towards kids. When that was mentioned she got very passive aggressive and said that we were too young, 25, to have kids and it was a stupid idea. She went wedding dress shopping without my fiancé, her maid of honor. She has thrown fits about how stressful and busy her wedding has made her and whenever fiancé brings up how we did X together, or finished Y ahead of time, she gets bitchy about how lazy and stupid her husband too, be is and she has more to worry about because she's doing all the work herself. Her parents are paying for most of her wedding. They have also bought her a house. We are paying for everything ourselves and are keeping the wedding under 10,000 and she has constantly called our wedding more of a big party really because we're not doing frivolous things like Hummer limos or $6,000 dresses. Did I mention we're lesbians? She's told us repeatedly that hers is the real wedding. And finally, she recently ducked out of maid of honor duties. Claiming she'll just be too busy with her own wedding to handle the stress of more duties. But she still expects my fiancé to do it for her. She instead volunteered my fiancé's sister, who will have an infant by that time, to take charge. It's really weird because these girls have been friends for 20 years and before we got engaged I met her multiple times and she was always great. Then as soon as we started planning our wedding something snapped. TL. DR. Fianke's best friend turned into a competitive snoot during our mutual engagements. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.